In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the two-way between groups analysis of variance by hand. So this is similar to if you've seen any of my videos on the on the one one way. And if you know that when we do an anode, we have a number of groups that we, we want to compare on a continuous de dependent variable. So for example, we might have two different memory techniques. We ask people to use them. We want to look at the effects of that memory techniques on or on their recall. So we give them a later recall test and see if there's a difference between the groups and that. You can also add more more than one variable to an 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 over there. So for example, um sticking sticking with memory example we could compare two two different techniques but but also also give them two different types of stimuli. So uh, give um one person pictures and one person words and and, and see if they see if they differ in terms of the, the recall accuracy. Uh, the the unique thing about that is we can look at the, the interaction between those two variables. So uh, um, sticking with the memory example, it might be with, it might be that one of our techniques is better for remembering pictures and the other one's better for remembering words. So there's a unique effect created by the the combination of those two variables. It's it's worth noting that I'm gonna do two today, but you can have unlimited numbers of variables in an ANOVA. Uh, um, in a future video, I'm gonna show how this how this generalizes to you could have 50 independent variables if you wanted, but I'm just gonna de dem demonstrate <coughs> the, the basic con concept with two. It's uh, I should know it's probably worth watching my um one more hand over video if you haven't already seen it because we're going to be covering a lot of the same ground it's it's very very similar lo logic i feel like we can we kind of need, need a plan before we start though so um let, let, let's kind of have a plan first of all we need to we need to calculate the total variable here that's that's um exists in our data so that we can then partition that variability into things that have ver various meaning in any statistical analysis there will be, there'll be variability due to error so in this case variability that's not due to our memory techniques but the, that's, just, that's just due to things we can't ex <coughs> things we can't explain like the participants just not paying attention and things like that we can also partition it into the variability crea created by our study and in, in a two-way ANOVA particularly, this can be par partitioned into three components. Uh, um, the, the variability that's uniquely due to e each of the independent variables. So in this case, the variability that's just due to, to the type of memory technique we've given and the variability that's, that's just due to whether it's words or pictures. So we can calculate that. Next, we can calculate the variability due to the interaction between between those two variables. So um, the 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 order is quite specific here because we 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 the the way it works is we we calculate the total variability in our study and we work out how much of it is due to each independent variable and then based on that we 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 take the uh, the Unique effect of each independent variable away from the t away from the variability due to all the manipulations, and whatever's left is the interaction. So, let's without further ado, let's look at our data. So the idea of this figure study was we just got we gave people a happy or sad message, and it was either relevant or wasn't relevant to them. So, and we just measured their happiness, um, and and the, the means certainly look different. Well, right? see so if they are different. The first thing I've done is cal calculated the grand mean, which is just the mean of means. And if we if we go if we go back to our slide here, first thing we need to do is calculate the total variability. So to do that, we're just going to calculate the the amount that each score deviates from the grand mean, so uh, the overall mean. So I'm just going to pull this to the side. I'm going to see if the first um, score was 33. The grand mean is 16.3, so it, it has a deviation from the grand mean of 16.7. We're then going to apply that to all all our scores, which I've done here, 
and uh, and we see that some of the scores are positive and some some of the scores are negative. If we if we added those together now to get a measure of the total variability, then then we just cancel each other out. So what 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 we do to get around that is square them. So again, I'm going to pull this to the side, and we see that for the first example, 16.7 squared is 278.89. Uh, we can now add <laughs> these together to get a measure of total variability. So there, there, was, there are 2,979.66 units of variability to be explained in our study. Uh, um, moving on to the next bit, we, we've done that, so we need to calculate the, the total variability due to error. Uh, and if we think about this logically, if it was only our, our manipulations that were creating variability then surely all, all our groups should have the same score because because there's no other reason for them to be different but clearly that would never happen so to calculate our error we calculate the difference between each individual score and rather than the grand mean the mean for the group it's in so uh, I'm just going to do it for the first group so the mean is 36.6 .6, so 33 minus 36.6 .6 is Minus six point six, and if if you think those are all the values in a thing about it, we've got the same problem as before. So I'm going to square them, which in the case of the first one is twelve point nine six. Uh, I've done I've done that with all my values, so we can just add them up here. And now if we, yeah, I I've I've done that for all 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 our groups to work out the amount of error in all our groups, so we can. Get an idea that the total error is 187.2 units. We can now, if we go back to this, we can, based on that, we can work out well how how much is due to our manipulations. Because if we know the total, we know error. Then there's only manipulations and error that contribute to the total. So if we take the error from the total, we're left with the manipulations, and that's what that's what we do here. So so. We see that all all our effects are uh, creating one eight nine two point four six units of variability. Um, now we need to partition that into the var variability created by what's called the main effect of each independent var variable and the variability that is due to the interaction. So, if we look at um, what this means conceptually. Well, what what we're doing is is taking disregarding one independent variable and just looking looking at the unique effects of the other uh, of the 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 unique effects of the other independent variable. So in this case, to to work out the 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 unique effect of the happiness manipulation, we're we're just going to lump together all the happy scores and we're just going to lump together all the sad scores and work out the difference between those overall means and we can then we can then we can then use that to work out the variability that's due to that effect. So to work out variability for a main effect we're gonna take that overall group mean we've just calculated for all the scores that are to do with that effect minus the grand mean square square the square the result in times by the amount of people are in that group. So our our happy condition Adam mean of twenty four and that had ten 10 scores in it and a side condition had a mean of 8.6 and that had 10 scores in it so you can see the um, equation applied down below same logic for re relevance so we've, we've com combined all the relevant um, conditions regardless of the happiness or sadness and we've, we've calculated the means and we can apply the same equ equation so that accounted for 605 units of variability. Now that we know the variability due to all, all our manipulations and specifically due to our, our in individual effects, whatever's whatever's left over must be must be due to our interaction because that's the only other, other thing we've included in, in our analysis. So uh, to calculate the interaction, we just do the t the total amount of explained variance minus the variance explained by the main effects we just calculated. If we do that, we get one one eight eight 
0.86 unit, units of variability. Now we know um, how much variability is explained by, by, by each effect, but we, we need to co correct these for the amount of scores that contributed to them. And we do that with something called degrees of freedom. So uh, um, degrees of freedom is, is the number of sc scores involved minus the fixed scores. So for example, if you if you if you had a mean which an over is about comparing means, in order for the mean to be what it is, the last the last value has to be something. Or if you think about it in terms of in terms of um if you had balls in a bag you have you have one less choice of um what to pick than than the number of balls there are because by the time by the by the time it gets to the last one you have the the like there isn't another choice because because there's only one left so that that's the that's the concept of degrees of freedom for 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 our error and um, we 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 get sixteen degrees of freedom because it's total number of participants that contributed to that score so because we we worked out the error uh, for uh, every person from the that their group mean we get put twenty minus four which equals sixteen for our main effects it's a very similar process uh, um we, we get the, the 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 amount of, the amount of means being compared minus one so in terms of our main effect of message we were comparing just happy versus sad so that's two so two minus one equals one like likewise for our relevance effect and then for for our interaction it's very simple as well we, we just take the, the the degrees of freedom for the main effects that are involved in the interaction and, and multiply them together so in this case message and relevance both had one degree of freedom so one multiplied by one is one uh, um, now that we've got a measure of how many scores c contribute to each measure of variability we need, we need to actually correct them for that by calculating something called the mean squares and, and a, mean, a mean squares generally is the sum of squares so that that total measure of variability just divided by the degrees of freedom so I mean uh, sum of squares for message was 1185.80 and um, we had one degree of freedom so just that number divided by one is obviously itself like likewise for uh re relevance effect. Uh, um for our, for our mean square error we just take our error estimate that we calculated earlier divided by the de degrees of free freedom we've just seen so because uh, our our if you if you know that an f statistic so the thing we actually check to see if an effect is too is significant is is the 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 mean square for an effect divided divided by the mean square for error and divided by that number of degrees of freedom has made our error much smaller but but if we recall our effect didn't change so it's more likely to be significant so if we just go ahead and look at the general formula for that mean square for any of our effects or f for any of our effects is the mean square for the effect divided by the mean square for error so you can see that applied to the message effect here so we get we get an f value of 101.35 which we can check up to get a significance value uh, um, I've applied all those to all, all, all our effects and, and we see in terms of the probability value they're all significantly less than 0 0.05 so that they're all significant so uh, um, just to summarize the effect of message is that if you have a happy or a sad message makes a difference regardless of the relevance uh, uh, if you have a high relevant message versus a low relevant message regardless of what the emotional message is the, there's an effect of that and there's, a, there's also an interaction so there's some unique con combination of the of these variables. So that was how to calculate a two way by hand. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.